I've really had a strong interest in the way that the United States conveys ideas abroad and the power of those ideas um, with respect to other countries and public. So a lot of people now are familiar with the term soft power. Um, my work really deals a lot with soft power and some of the mechanisms that the United States has used to cultivate soft power. And also the contradictions and occasional hypocrisy that comes with that. I'm not saying that I did, the, these ideas have always been a force for good or unresisted. Um, but yeah, that, that interplay and that tension is something that fascinates me in terms of global politics. Well, I've currently been taking my interest in soft power and the ways that the US attracts soft power in um, public diplomacy. Um, and taking that interest into looking at some of the US relationships in South Asia, um, particularly India. Um, and I'm working on a study right now on sort of how um, Indians have looked at the United States and how the United States has sought to, to cultivate India. Um, that's a bit of a historical one. Um, it's looking mostly at the Cold War, but um, I'm really excited to start sort of writing more on um, the current issues for the US in, in that South Asia region. Well, I'm really excited about that because I'm going to be part of the center's really vibrant um, teaching profile in American foreign policy issues. Um, I have one of our units, which is kind of a survey course on US foreign policy. And the other class I have is a more historical class. And that's actually going to kind of look at Americanism and anti-Americanism in world politics. So getting into some of my core interests, some of the um, dynamic relationships that the United States has been in through its history, and some of the positive and negative ways that America has influenced other countries and societies. going to look at gender, race, capitalism, uh, trade relationships and the idea of trade dependency um, and some of the debates domestically around sort of secrecy and patriotism with Snowden um, as well as the way that African Americans and Native Americans have kind of challenged the idea of Americanism and American citizenship. Well, I think the first thing to note is that like, like any of your social science or humanities degree programs, what you're building are your skills. And US study, um, studies allows you to build your research, problem solving, critical thinking, writing um, and verbal skills to a really high degree. So I think that's the first thing to note is that it's just great academic training. Um, where you really get to have some fun with US studies is that our degree program offers the flexibility to get into a couple of different subject areas under the broad theme of the US. So it's really one of the programs where you could do my um, US foreign policy subjects, which of course everybody should do, um, but also pick up something in literature or something in cultural studies within the program. And we give students the concepts and the background to tie that together. Um, so it's really fantastic to get a broad perspective. You know, the US is such a key part of our region. It's such a big player in the world. Whether or not the US is in decline, it's been responsible for setting up so much of what happens in global politics, the kinds of structures and assumptions and the terms of a lot of debates that, um, you know, it's, it's going to be something of an indispensable power for, for a long time yet.